President Obama have blamed the deaths of four Americans in Benghazi on a YouTube video that incited out of control protesters. Some have sought to justify She's a liar. vicious behavior along with the protest that took place at our embassy in Cairo yesterday as a response to inflammatory material posted on the internet. Liar. She's a liar. So is this guy. Uh, protests that uh, arose because of the outrage over the There video. was no video, liar. were used as an excuse by extremists. Brand new evidence from Hillary's own email proved that was a lie. There were no protests. If there's no evidence for a video-inspired protest, then where'd the false narrative start? Started with you, Madam Secretary. But what troubles me more is I think you knew the truth within 24 hours. You had a conversation with the Egyptian Prime Minister. You told him this. We know... The attack in Libya had nothing to do with the film. It was a planned attack, not a protest. Let me read that one more time. We know, not we think, not it might be, we know the attack in Libya had nothing to do with the film. It was a planned attack, not a protest. State Department experts knew the truth. You knew the truth, but that's not what the American people got. Kelly then voiced what millions of Americans feel towards Mrs. Clinton and the administration. This is this is what drives people crazy. It drives them crazy. You know, why, why not just come out and lay it out? This is what makes people distrust not just these politicians, but Washington, huh. the administration. She's but right. Anybody who even raises their hand and testifies under oath, believing you're not being straight with me. Hillary Clinton is now known as the Butcher of Benghazi. Butcher After of Benghazi. The escaping report, breach of duty. Hillary Clinton and catastrophic failure in Benghazi. The report lays the murder of Chris Stevens, Sean Smith, Ty Woods, and Glenn Doherty directly at the feet of Hillary Clinton. She killed them, guys. According to the report by the group Special Ops OPSEC, there were hundreds of cables sent to the State Department and Hillary Clinton directly describing how Al-Qaeda-linked militias continually roamed the area around the Benghazi consulate. That Clinton knew the area was dangerous, knew that Chris Stevens had requested more security, and Hillary Clinton had not only refused, but had cut what little security the consulate Hear had. that, guys? Moreover, according to the OPSEC report, this on the is night of attack, about attack backup. 2012, All right. a Special Forces State Department Foreign Emergency Support Team engaged specifically when a consulate comes under terrorist attack had been deployed, but was told to stand down by the State Department. So Hillary killed those dudes. Hillary Clinton. She's a killer, guys. She knows goes to prison for killing people, guys. She needs to pay for what she did. Commander Lieutenant Colonel Gibson. Gibson and his team of special forces were in the process of boarding a C-130 from Tripoli to Benghazi when a call came in from AFRICOM to stand down. This was revealed in the congressional testimony by State Department's Deputy Chief of Mission, Gregory Hicks. According to experts, this stand-down order from AFRICOM that has authority over the entire African continent could only have come from the President of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama. They're crazy Satanists. It also appears AFRICOM, formerly headed by General Carter Hamm, rebuffed Obama's stand-down order and was relieved of command within minutes. After the stand-down order, more than likely to hide the fact that the CIA was illegally shipping surface-to-air missiles to the Al-Qaeda-linked Syrian rebels, the CIA annex being minutes away from the consulate, the Obama administration orchestrated a massive propaganda operation blaming a protest turned violent over an obscure YouTube video. Clinton and Obama peddled this anti-Muslim video fantasy for a full month, Obama even spinning the story at the United Nations, proclaiming with righteous indignation in his voice that no one should sully the name of the Prophet Muhammad. The future must not belong to those who slander the Prophet of Islam. Oh, you piece of shit. That Obama oh, you're done with now, Obama. Video ...being behind the attack on the Benghazi consulate that it was the Al-Qaeda lynch group Ansar al-Sharia, the same group that was identified in an email that went directly to the... Our White own House government is against us. Obama is a traitor. Obama apparently didn't read the email, however, because as White House records now show, 
Obama never went to the White House Situation Room on the night of the attack. He was too busy preparing for the next presidential debate. Obama and Clinton then went into phase two of the cover-up, blaming the intelligence agencies for feeding them faulty intel. This, as revealed in recent emails released by government watchdog group Judicial Watch, is yet another lie. They're dying to you guys. What are you going to do? And, the rest of the uh, and she's country. running for president. Feverishly working to cover up the fact that Al-Qaeda had attacked her embassy. Feverishly trying to prevent Obama's re-election campaign from imploding. Feverishly trying to create... While Americans die. Big enough and he was lying to America. He is a piece of crap. Would fall for he needs to be hung. The email for all the Americans he killed. The story was nothing but a fiction to save Obama and Clinton from being tarred and feathered and run out of Washington for leaving Americans defenseless in a den of Al-Qaeda.